This is four and a half mil black polypropylene. And we're gonna bend it in four places to form the main part of the tank that we're building. I usually over bend it initially, just to give it a tight, tight corner. I've got a bit of box section clamped to the bench here and then I'm clamping that bit of timber on the inside just to keep it nice and square. I've done another two bends there and this will be the last bend to bring the two, ed the two edges together. Just over bend it a little bit again, bring it back, clamp that bit of timber in. And then just wait for the for the bend to cool. I'd usually clamp a bit of MDF or some wood in here to to keep the joint straight and flat. But uh, I haven't got any, so I'm just using a bit of uh, 12 mil polyprop and um, and an aluminium straight edge, just so I don't weld the uh, the 12 mil polyprop to the job. And just tack in, tack in the joints here, tack it all the way along, and basically just to keep it, keep it in place while, while it's being welded. Take the tacking nozzle off and put a triangle nozzle on. And this is a triangular filler rod. Usually, when I'm doing this, I don't put much weight on the on the gun. All the all the pressure is on the on the welding rod, um, and doing it this way it usually turns out strung, neat, and leak proof most of the time. Just standing off the excess rod off. Here I'm just putting a, a back mark on the inside of the job for this end cap here which is 6mm uh, embossed polyprop. It's got a bit of a grain on the outside of it so I'll just stand the knife and push that in there and I'll tack, tack the rest of it around to that mark And here I'm putting a three millimeter diameter welder. Just go all the way around, push it into the corners. until you meet back up to the start and then go again <clears throat> I'm putting so much weld on this because this is a an underslung tank I think it's on a a transit and I just like to make sure it's uh, fairly strong and I'm obviously going to have water splashing up when the van's accelerating and braking. Here I'm just sticking the uh, the drain in. And it's free three quarter BSP socket. And just tack this into position. I have leveled it. <clears throat> I think I stick a uh, free, free welds around this as well. And this hole is for a four inch inspection port. This is probably used mainly to, to clean the tank out. So we've got six holes in, I've drilled two 
I'll just put the two, two bolts in to keep it in place while I build the other, the other four. I'll just put some silicon around the inside of the, the flange there. Uh, and then some silicon around the hole. And just push that in. I use a, a ratchet and an Allen key just to, to force the force the silicon out. And this is just a, a multi-surface wipe to uh, get rid of the excess silicon. And that's it, it's finished. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed.